They're one of the biggest boy bands in the world. And for almost 30 years, Nick, Howie, AJ, Brian and Kevin have been making our hearts beat just that little bit faster. I am, of course, talking about the Backstreet Boys. The group are due here at the start of next year. But before they get to us, they've taken a little piece of Australia on tour with them around the US and Canada, our very own Delta Goodrum. And I'm so excited to say Delta is joining us now live from her tour bus in Pennsylvania. Hi, Dee. I am. Hi, Renee. Hi, everyone. I love that you are just living up the tour bus life. I also love, you know, I've known you for a long time, the fact that you're sleeping in a bunk bed and you're travelling around on a tour bus with a bunch of guys. Your band is completely comprised of guys. How is tour bus life going? You know what? It is an experience that I've never had. It's my first ever time on a tour bus, as you know. And, and I, you know, I made my bunk bed. I put little lights in it and, it's a, and you have your little... Uh, uh, curtain that comes across and everyone's kind of got their own style of like being at summer camp we wake up somewhere we're in a new place we get to perform for thousands of people but we've I'm so proud of the guys that are that are on tour with me the band are amazing they're like uh, it's a dream they're kind professional wonderful they're part of the family it's really is a um a traveling family of like music yeah. you would hope for that when it's a, a group of guys and one bathroom on a tour bus Yes, yes. Thankfully, everyone is very respectful and we are we are really on the adventure. I mean, it's sometimes you might find the band, though, outside sunbaking in a car park somewhere. You know, that might be so glad. Like, Look you at doing? you guys. <laughs> I love it. You're like in a drugstore here, just like living it up like you're in Bali. <laughs> Well, that's the thing. It's like, you know, and, that, and that's the part after being in Oz for so long to, to kind of have this experience. I We worked so hard on our tour back in Australia and then the plan was always to take it on the road and we are literally on the road. You wake up somewhere new and we really have immersed into the experience of wherever we are, what, what what's around here. And even if it's the local CVS is, is where we go and we find things to kind of make the adventure the best it possibly can be. And and um, really find what's happening in, in the local spot. So good. Well, everyone has been talking about the moment that Drake joined the Backstreet Boys on stage in Toronto. Now you were front and center for all the action. You were fangirling. I love it. Tell us what it was like that moment. I'm definitely sharing everything on my socials. It's like my adventure. It's my adventure um, footage. But um, it was an incredible night. It really, every single tour, it is packed. There is tens of thousands, thousands and thousands of people coming to the show, singing at the top of our lungs. <laughs> I get my, I think my voice gets more tired from singing, uh, watching the Backstreet Boys show after my show, um, than even just singing my own shows. But Drake coming out in Toronto, it really was a magic night. We'd had two nights there. And that second night when Drake came out and they sang I Want It That Way, it was, it was so special. It was like this moment of um, collaboration and him singing I Want It That Way. It was just, it really was special. The room, the crowd was so loud and it was really, it was, it was really awesome. Like kind of a nostalgic meets present moment of everything coming together. Two icons it was great. And, and your reaction was really like stars are just like us. You were all giddy after meeting Drake. What did he say to you? Well, I think there was just a genuine um, positive energy backstage that it was it was just a real moment in time seeing Drake and the Backstreet Boys come together. It just, it shows you that this era, there's just, you know, people coming together and collaborating and being united in music. It was just really, really awesome. So kind, so kind. Oh, I'd love to hear that. It's so awesome. We're so proud of you <laughs> over there, Dee. You're doing such an amazing job. Love it. We miss it's you. It's honestly, it's a blessing. I miss you too. <laughs> and you, of course, Australia's in my heart the whole entire time. And I'm, I'm a, uh, I'm just so, so grateful to get to sing for so many people every single day. I am, I am enjoying every minute. Love it. Love you, Dee. Thank you so much. Back to you, Love Carl you. and Sarah. Thank you. Lovely to see Delta too. <laughs> I'm just awesome to see her on tour in yeah. the United States. So what a dream come true. You know, true. And she's, um, she's going to be huge over there in the States. Well done. Thank you, Renee.